this person wanted to take care of me. It was just nice to hear. He tells me he wants to be involved with my family. He wants to go hunting with my brothers. And then I thought he'd fit in really nicely. He's so convincing about giving him money. For a while there, he wouldn't leave me alone until I gave him money. Yeah, I feel like I'm being judged by my family already and I didn't want to tell them. Everybody told me not to do things and I went ahead and did them anyway. <laughs> What's up, Seekers? Welcome back to another episode of Scamfish, sponsored by SocialCatfish.com. On today's episode, we speak to a woman named Lisa from San Francisco who fell in love with a man she met on Facebook named Antonio who claimed to be a geophysicist. He's currently on a contract in Paris and Lisa has sent thousands of dollars trying to get him back to the United States. Today, we'll find out the truth about who this man really is, so strap in and join us. Real quick guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. My name's Lisa. Um, I live in the Bay Area. I'm 65 now. I can't believe it. I don't have very much money. I sell on um, Poshmark. I work really hard at doing that and I'm trying to become self-efficient, you know. I have two grandchildren. My daughter's newly engaged, my youngest, and she wants to live her life, you know which is understandable you know so i want to get as much travel and things in as i can you know and i wanted somebody to travel with i haven't been in a relationship in like 20 years in the last one i don't know he just didn't want to be with me so he went back to his old girlfriend and slowly broke it to me on christmas that he wasn't going to be there i cried a lot after lisa's ex-husband divorced her she turned to online dating. You know, I wanted to get to know somebody from the beginning without having any judgment. A clean slate. I was just talking to people on Facebook, my friends. When I came across Antonio, I thought I friended him, and he says I did, but I don't remember. <laughs> then we started talking, and he just immediately, like, was liked me so it was a lot of attention that i wasn't used to getting we got along really good he just kept responding to me and then i'm like oh nobody likes me that much <laughs> he kept pursuing it and i'm like no you you got the wrong person you want somebody younger you want somebody skinnier you know and i just kept putting him down i don't want any kind of relationship with you and the more I did that, the more he was interested. And it was just weird. But I, I'd been praying to God, I, you know, for a relationship that would last because I don't want to grow old by myself, you know, and he just seemed to be there all the time. And that's when I demanded a phone number. If I was going to talk to him, I wanted to make sure he was real. He was surprised I was real and I was surprised he was real. It went really good and we laughed about it. And then he was calling me all the time video. He's a little bit younger than me, he's 60. He went to MIT and he lives in Texas. He works for a great company and he's just fun. And he, he likes to exercise and work out and bike and, and cook and, you know, things I like to do. He's really tall. He's just kind. and and sweet and he's funny but quite serious and very honorable he doesn't like to put his stuff out there he always tells me you know how much he cares for me how much he loves me i love him he made me feel totally comfortable it was good for a while and then he started asking me for money the first thing he asked for money for was to get back home from Norway. I did send him the money to get home. It was like $800. I did ask him, why can't your work pay for your airline ticket back? You know, why do you have to borrow from me? What about your friends? You know, but in the end, I end up paying for it anyway. He says he saved a lot. He's, all he did was save all his money while he was working. 
and he was going to buy a house. He wants to prove to my daughter that he's real. The last time I Venmoed him, it was just money for food. I was really concerned about getting ghosted. Not so much about getting scammed or anything, but getting ghosted. I said, if you want me to send you money, you better send me your address, your license, and everything else you have to prove that you're who you are. He sent me a picture of a learner's permit um, the address and his birthday, and it was signed Lexi. I told my family, and they're, no, he's not real. He's not real, Mom. Don't ever give him any money. You know, it's kind of late. I already have, and I swore I wouldn't, you know, but I have several times. He's in Paris now. When he went to Paris, he left his phone. So he couldn't take pictures, but then he's with his daughter. And I said, she has a, a camera. So he has video chat me, he called me 14 times the other day because he needs this money or he's going to lose his job and he needs to get back from Paris. He wants my credit card information. He's waiting for me to call him to sign in for my credit card. And he just needs to get back from Paris to here. And then I can transfer him the money. And this is, is supposed to go down any day. The, the reason I trust him, he said he'd be here Saturday if I sent the money today. But he thinks it's all on the, on the go. And I've just been putting him off till I talk to you guys. If I found out he was fake, I'd be angry and upset. I'd be angry that I was stupid and that I let somebody get to me like that. I think the thing that stops me from cutting it off is um, I have somebody to talk to. I would hope he still wants me with all the pain in the ass stuff I've done. <laughs> um, and I'd love to have a relationship with him. I don't want to blow it. I feel like I've blown it before and I don't want to do that anymore. We were gonna have a house and he's been talking to realtors and, you know, doing everything that would be best for us. We were gonna spend the rest of our lives together. He wants to marry me and not to worry when he gets back, we'll take care of all this stuff. And I sure hope he's, I sure hope he's real. Well, Seekers, we dug into all of the information that Lisa sent us and found her answers. Brianne and I decided to take a trip to meet Lisa in San Francisco to reveal the information. We met her at her house and she was an extremely nice lady, but we had to let her know the truth. Stick around until the end. We'll break down everything we found out about Antonio. I just want to prepare you for what Brianne's going to tell you. Okay. After looking into him, it doesn't look good, okay? Oh, it doesn't. No. And Lisa will get the chance to confront him over the phone. So, you're not real, are you? What? You're not real at all. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. We appreciate you so much. It was now time to sit down with Lisa for the first time. And something you mentioned is, when you call him, he doesn't answer? Most of the time he doesn't answer, you know, because he says it's on his computer. Unless he's sitting right there at the computer, he can't answer me. It had something happened to it and his work had it. And I can see forgetting that, but I can't see forgetting my phone. What are some of the things that you, you like about Antonio? Very good looking, of course. Um, I like his voice. I like that he um, always wants to, he cares about where I'm going, you know, um, call, call me when you get home, you know. He doesn't care that I go out, and I go out with my girlfriends all the time. And he dresses uh, really nice in most of the pictures I've seen of him. He's, he seems very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Lisa filled us in more on her relationship, but it was time to let her know the truth. So when it comes to Antonio, 
what are some real reasons of why you think this is real? Um, the way he treats me, the way he treats me. Mm -hmm. And he always says that we're going to be together. He just made me feel comfortable about mm -hmm. it. From our expertise when it comes to scammers, that's mm -hmm. their job. That's the role that right. they play is to make you feel comfortable with them and to also make you feel loved and appreciated. Mm -hmm. Those aren't really valid reasons, though, to, to, to make you believe that this is real, right? Um, they did make me believe it was real. Mm -hmm. So whether they're valid or not, it made me feel that way. Gotcha. I just want to prepare you for what Brianne's going to tell you. Okay. After looking into him, it doesn't look good, okay? Oh, it doesn't. No. So the first thing um, I want to look at is the two phone numbers that we had look, looked up. We basically use phone software uh, to verify a phone. They are VoIP phone numbers. So for both of the phone numbers, we weren't able to find the owner. And also, since it is a VoIP number, uh, we weren't able to confirm the actual location as to where this number can be found. So basically, I can go on to a site an app and I can choose my area code. When you use a VoIP phone number, it masks your true phone number and it's free, completely free. And uh, we see it all the time in scams. So oh, that. <laughs> tell me about this. What was it that prompted him to send you this picture? I, I said, I want your ID. You have to have an ID. If you got on a plane and traveled to Paris, you have to have some kind of identification. It's a learner's permit. I thought maybe it could be his daughter and her name is really Lexi, yeah. not L Lydia. Since we've <clears throat> talk, been talking about Antonio, you're kind of compensating for things that don't make sense. Do you feel like you're doing that? Maybe. I think I'm doing that, making excuses for what I really know. Yeah. So what we've got going on is several different images layered. There are several different fonts, several different colors. This thing's been Photoshopped from top to bottom. Everywhere. It would yeah. be extremely That's difficult. That's what I was noticing. All the different prints were all different sizes and yeah. it was a mess. You could finally tell that Lisa was coming around. She didn't reach out to us to just verify this man's identity. She reached out to us to confirm all of her doubts about this man were true. And our team was prepared to reveal exactly what she wanted to hear, the truth. We were able to find the real identity. This is not Antonio oh, Dillinger not. Blanchard. This is a man by the name of Matt. Matt. Wow. Matt has his own life. Mm -hmm. He, you know, he's never spoken to you. He doesn't know who you are. Right. Um, his photos were just stolen and, and his likeness was stolen to to get you to send money to this person. Mm -hmm. I, I think it'd I be really great to share with you what he sent us the other day. Okay. Well, actually, I just got to Paris and I'm going to be yeah. on a Europe <laughs> vacation for three weeks, uh, starting today. So uh, I won't be in San Francisco until then. Uh, but you know, we might could do a video chat. They, they, let me tell you, the thing is. I've had this thing happen before. When I had my Instagram profile public, I had a million fake account. People stole my pictures and did all that, which is why I changed it to private. And that's only happened uh, maybe once since then. Wow. That's crazy. He, and he doesn't seem like him at all. Different from the person you've been talking to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Voice? Mm, no. Hmm. Well... More money, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, because he swears he's gonna pay me back. <laughs> That's crazy. It's funny to see somebody talking like him. I would wouldn't expect him to talk. You know, it's surreal, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's ends it. You know, but he's using the same story <laughs> as the other guy, as yeah. Antonio was using. Yeah. This person that's behind this fake profile has studied you. They know what you like. 
they know what you do on a day-to-day basis they know what movies you watch they know what your favorite color is they know all of that and they're basically just taking this person creating them right they're putting clothes on them they're giving them a name and they're like i know this person is something that she wants yeah it sounds like that it does sound like that but the key thing that i want you to take away from this is, is that this person's taking advantage of you they're preying on your weaknesses all they care about is money that's it mm-hmm. this news was tough on lisa but she was strong You could tell she was ready to move on from this man even before she reached out to us. All she needed was some confirmation. The fact that you say, you know, you want to stay active, you like taking care of yourself, like this guy that you're talking to is not even worthy to be with you. You know, you deserve better. And that's why we felt like it's important to connect with you, meet with you, and give you answers. Yeah, I'm glad you guys to know. It felt like nobody understood as much as people say hey this person's not real they're not then that makes them not in a relationship you are in a relationship but it's just toxic right like there's no different between dating a toxic guy and dating a romance scammer he's trying to make it seem like he wants to take care of you he's gaining your trust and then it's like in the next comments like when when can you send me money i love Mm -hmm. you you're great can you do this can you do that when can you send money it's just it's just these little like compliments to string you along really disappointed it pisses me off we have this website called fu gift cards and it's a fake business that we created to track down the ips of these scammers what we're going to do is we're going to create a link it'll look like you're sending him four thousand dollars and when he clicks on it we'll provide him with a code i'll type in the code on the on the website and when he does that, we're able to grab his IP address and he's going to get jack shit. That's cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we'll do that right now. You want to you wanna yeah, work on that? Yeah, okay. absolutely. We had such a great time hanging out with Lisa. She even offered to drive us to the airport. She wouldn't take no for an answer. She was one of the nicest people I've ever met. But unfortunately... Good people like Lisa are what romance scammers seek. Although we weren't able to grab Antonio's real location because he was running a VPN, while we were on our way to the airport, he called and Lisa still broke it off. Hello? Hello? Hi. Yeah. What's wrong? I was sleeping, I just woke up. Oh, you were sleeping, you just woke up. Wow. So you're not real, are you? What? You're not real at all. Why are you saying that? Because I had you investigated and you're not real. Your shoes? I'm serious. So what do you have to say? That's it. Well, his loss. Now we can block him. Block him. Let's block block that baby. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Remember, all of our new videos go out every Wednesday. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, Seekers. We'll see you guys next time.